Work-life balance has been uh, a lifelong uh, struggle uh, to maintain a balance. And part of that struggle uh, has to do with, I think, a very unbiblical concept, which is you got all these different parts of your life and uh, you should have balance between them. Well, uh, with the things that God has planned for us uh, puts us into different seasons where that balance is gonna change. And so uh, part of this is being nimble and close to God uh, being able to listen to when that balance is supposed to uh, change. For example, uh, when I was working uh, at my first job, Blue Cross Blue Shield, which I did for 10 years, uh, in sales allows you for a very flexible schedule. And when you meet all your sales goals or, uh, or uh, meet them 200% above what the goal is, you have a lot of flexible time on your hands uh, to either sell more or uh, have a better balance, which I spent a lot of time uh, building our marriage uh, for our first 10 years. And uh, also uh, uh, was a uh, ordained pastor in our city church uh, overseeing the college and marketplace ministries. I had a very flexible life back then, and most people would say that's a very traditional view of balance. But uh, when you get a job at the White House and you have a changeover in administrations uh, and you uh, are involved in an area like presidential personnel, uh, the president deserves to have all his appointees in place uh, as early as he can in his administration, not at the very end. And so what that means is you got 3,500 vacancies that you got to fill uh, in uh, nine months. And that requires uh, days that uh, stretch from six in the morning at the office. And I usually got home between 11 and midnight or one o'clock every day, seven days a week uh, for the first nine months uh, working at the White House with the small exception of uh, going to church on Sunday morning. And so with that, a lot of people would say, well, that's pretty wacky balance. Uh, but you know, Karen and I at the time uh, had uh, 20 plus years of a very solid, great marriage under our belt. We had no children. Uh, we prayed through that decision and we agreed uh, to make the necessary changes in that balance to make it work. The same things in scripture. Uh, you know, Jesus, before he uh, went into his ministry, uh, the sum up of his first uh, 30 years is in Luke chapter 2, verse 52, and Le Jesus grew in wisdom and in stature and in favor of God and of man. He had a balance, um, a four-legged four, uh, uh, stool balance um, before he uh, went into his full-time Christian ministry. And at the same time, when you look at someone like uh, Joseph, uh, you know, when he was imprisoned, he had one balance, but uh, then when uh, he, in essence, became the prime minister of Egypt during the famine, uh, I bet you that uh, his work life uh, took on a different balance, as did Nehemiah uh, when he uh, functioned as a secret service agent uh, in the king's court, uh, was one set of circumstances. But then uh, we read about uh, him uh, rebuilding uh, the city and uh, working 24 hour, shifts of 24 hours straight, uh, supervising uh, people uh, build, rebuilding the city. And so uh, what has given me comfort is that there are examples in scripture of people's balance uh, changing and morphing over time, depending on what God has called them to do at that particular moment in time.